Oh, you cheeky. So I want to point out in the very, very, very first version of Dark Souls, if they were wearing the ring that you see on them right now, they could not be targeted. Wow, that's rough. It was very yeah. rough. Yeah, you told me about that. That's why he's invinci invisible. Like so that's that? actually Ferris. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. This time I'm sure. Confirmed. 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 Big Ferris, big hat. <sighs> and you got the black belt. Congrats. Broad brimmed hat favored by the archer hero Ferris. He, he was shooting arrows at me. Yeah. Accomplished archer, though he was human, ranked alongside Hawkeye Go. Okay, so that's. This is no one's fault. That's actually pronounced Goth. But Vincent Van Gogh. I know. But the care th There are somebody who will later say the phrase Goth. Okay, so like cough. Yeah. Fine. Guess Kong. His un hat is universally popular amongst yeah. the children. Uh, yeah. And Goth was one of the four uh, knights. So of, this, uh, is, uh, this is uh, Dark Souls Robin Hood? Basically. And his black bow is uh, something you got. It's a very good bow. It is a very high quality bow. Let's see how high quality we're talking. Uh, longer range than standard bows, more difficult to use without proper abilities, the results will be <laughs> underwhelming. Interesting. So what do you need to build up to use this? You need some, uh... Look at that scaling. Yeah, you need dex, you need... Look at that S yeah, scaling. that's ridiculous. And it shoots farther. That's ridiculous. Than, than your average bow. I could actually use this. So, Ferris's bow sucks in one way. For some re- uh-oh. Oh yeah, we're human. You sure are. Okay. Uh, for some reason, um, when he falls off the cliff there, occasionally he does not actually respawn properly, and you can't get the item. Oh! Oh, there's a lot going on right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, he's being Oh no! He's not being cool at all! What is he doing? He's shooting stuff at you. Yeah, he is. And I don't know what it does, so... This is gonna be interesting. You're fighting five enemies right now. One of which is an invader. Yeah. I see that. That was solid, bro. Oh! Oh, no! Damn. You still got this. Remember, invaders can't heal. I oh. Running away wouldn't have helped me there. He would have got me. Yeah. Oh, well. I kicked his thing and it didn't kick him open, so... Yeah, it has to, it, it, When you kick somebody's thing in PvP, it creates a huge stamina damage. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't necessarily always pop it open. Uh... I see. Oh, well. Oh, well. No big. I still got my 17. You sure did. And you're not even that far away, honestly. Yeah. I guess the right move there is actually to, uh, roll right away. Yeah, usually. Depends how good your roll is, and how many guys there are. But he definitely got you in a fucking favorable position. With, uh, five dudes. Casting and going nuts over there. Going nuts. Alright, Illuminati. Illuminati? Yeah, so, 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 so like he's a bad, bad man. Yeah, someone wrote that out, like, Illuminati. And I was like, whoa, that's stupid. Is that where you wear a fancy hat and glasses and nothing else? What? Mm -hmm. Oh. What? Maybe some ropes. Okay. A wizard hat, perhaps. Okay, so you guys are back. And the Hydra, however, is not. What are you- what's- what are these enemies called? These are crystal golems. Okay. And do they have a chance of dropping... Mm -hmm. uh, some sort of... Specific ones, yes, but not these some ones. Some sort of tight knight? Oh, uh, no, not really. If you want cl uh, Twinkling Titanite, those clams are your best bet. If you want uh, Chunks, the Black Knights are your best bet. If you want uh, Green Shards, it's those leeches. If you want large Titanite Shards, I'm not all that sure, but you seem to get them pretty easily from a bunch of them. Secrets under the waterfall. Nope, not this time. It's honestly one of the best places to look in nearly any game ever. Every video game. Every single one. 
Oh, do you want to check out uh, the side path? I assumed it was a whole big thing. Uh, it's not. Okay. Then yeah, it makes sense to do so right now. It's, uh, it's a dead end, so... It's definitely worthwhile for you to check out. Alright, textures, don't fail me now. Yeah, no, you you will know, because there's a bit, there's like a black the color void. It's very obvious. Okay. Looking ahead for enemies, looking down for the void. Well, you can't write on, uh, on void. That's true. Ah. That's technically true. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm getting- oh, no. I'm getting the burps. I had, uh, had food from that, uh, that, uh, that Lebanese place. That burpy place? Oh, man, and, uh, the, the sriracha sauce is burping up. Ooh. What the fuck is that? I love the use of depth of field in this game. Yeah, It's really you're, intense! You're blurry enough to tell me that you're human-sized. But not quite what it is. Oh man, did you see those, uh, those uh, Tokyo Dark Souls images? Uh, you're just a different colored version. Sure is. Okay, how, how tough are you? If you look really carefully, you can see that there's something inside that bulb. You're a big guy. Much stronger than average. And you're a toughie. Big uppercuts. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Sawamura would be proud. Yeah, I like, I like your boxing style, sir. I like your boxing style. Whoa! That's true. Tis thou who rescued me. Whoa! Most gracious, I am deeply obliged. I am Dusk of Ulysseo. I cometh from an age long before thine. I cannot stay here for long. So, before I disappear, allow me to ask one thing. My home, Ulysseo, is the home of ancient sorceries. My hope is to pass this profound knowledge to thee with thine approval. Would this be of assistance to thee? No, it won't, but yes, it won't. I'll take you anyway. My heartfelt thanks. I am pleased beyond words. I know I've heard this voice before. Engrave my signature. If thou art in need, pray summon me from my signature. Whoever this girl is, she, she gets work. She's cool, man. May the great flames guide thee. Yay! So, thank you for visibly doing that for once. Well, she's magical and shit, man. I know, but the rest just stand around and... So, uh, she's the summon sign that I tried to get you to summon before over by the Hydra. Why uh, would she be there if I hadn't rescued her? Ah, uh, because I forgot the order of events. I see. And now you can summon her? Yep. And now she's a... But you have to be human to go to her shop as a result. And now she's a trainer? Uh, she's a, uh, sorcery vendor. Vendor, vendor, okay. Yeah, she cool. So she's we've got we've got we've got two sorcery vendors and a sorcery three actually. Uh, you've got uh, you got uh, Griggs, you got Logan, and you got uh, Dust. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about. It, so. But uh, Logan won't even talk to you. Yeah, which is fair. I'm Logan's stupid. like, get your dumb shit out of I'm my stupid. fucking face. I'm stupid, but I'm really fast. The guy in three is like a real cunt about it. Um, he won't even talk to you. The guy next to the library. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's got, I, I got books, man. What are you wasting my fucking? The, the guy in the guy in two is a similar dick, where he's just like, but but he's he's just not quite as much of a shit about it. Mm, yeah, that's. Whereas fair. Logan's like patronizing. He's like, now now, there are other ways you can <laughs> defeat the Dark Lord. Let me hand you this children's book. Come back when you. No 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 no, not that chalk, chosen undead. <laughs> Don't eat that. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Uh, which is worse? Which is worse? Yeah. Eating chalk? No, I'm saying which is worse? Being patronizing or being like... Being a fucking rabid cunt? Yeah. I, I, would, I would prefer... Like, I would prefer the cuntness. Is that like, if you were an NPC, that's what you'd be? Oh, yeah. You'd be like, if I don't see the stats I'm looking for, I'm not even gonna, like, breathe in your general direction. Yeah. Or fart at you. I... You, you are beneath my ass noise. That's what you're beneath. And then when you're getting close to the number, you just fart on him a little bit. Just a little... <laughs> uh, now we're going the other way. Yeah. Is there anything more vile than physically placing your asshole onto someone in order to, to, 
to hit them with poop air. Is there anything more hilarious? Yeah, I don't know. My cousins would say no. Oh, man. They would say no. That's a big thing. It sure the fuck is. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Oh. All right, buddy. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Wolf, indeed. Oh, you're about to fuck me up. <laughs> <laughs> That's a mean kitty! Bad kitty! That's a doom noise! No, that's a Duke Nukem 3D pig cop noise! Oh, is that what it was? Yep. Okay. Alright. We got real enemies. Nice. Fucking public domain sound effects. Alright. Is that two? Yes, it is. Fuck. Fuck you. No, I can't do two. I can't do you two. You can. I can, I can, I can do one. But I can't. You're never gonna make it anywhere in this industry if you can't do two at once. <laughs> No, nope, can't do two. Can't do two. Uh, let's see if we can force favorable Force one at a time? Force favorable uh, uh, odds. Something was flashing over there. Which ways did you guys path towards? There's one over there on the right. They split up. They split up a little. They detected that their buddy died. They went meow. Maybe fire will make quick work of one of them. I, I would like to see those two monsters wearing little fireman outfits. I think that would be a fun thing to do. Oh no. Okay. Plan of, change of plans. Change of plans. Let's see what happens here. Let's see. Honestly, Willie, I feel like your cowardice is not like justified. You are so strong. Yeah, yeah but they they hit hard. They hit hard. And when two two of those rolling attacks at the same time, I know I can't deal with it. Like I, I'm aware of my abilities. Oh yeah. Oh, oh god, I feel like that's a... They're together now. Alright. Only the weakest stand users will... Ah. Oh, oh, oh. Can you use this fucking... No, I can't. Oh, did you think that would do, like, tons of billions of damage? Well, you're right, it is. It is actually doing tons of billions of damage. Oh no! What a bitch! Oh my god, that is absolutely a Duke Nukem 3D pig hop noise. Yeah. See? Told you you could do it. Yeah. I just didn't want two rolls. Like, two rolls is would have been would have been the the death of me. For sure, for sure. That's Trobuku. Uh ew, I hate that. Is that some sort of like southern way of saying it? No, I just fucked it up. I just fucked it up for funsies. Congrats. How strange. Ow. I was expecting, like, their tails to turn into snakes and shit, like one of those, like, um, manticore-type things, you know? Congrats. But the, the you were opened you up. You were eaten and killed by a manticore. Big cat. Man, I love manticores. They're cool. They're all right. It, the only problem I have is that every time I think of a manticore, I think of a manticore, but then I have trouble thinking of a Gru. The lions from uh, Kingdom Death Monster are pretty... Horrible, horrible. They have human hands. Oh, that's a Gru. It's the, a Gru is the thing from back uh, Attack on the Block. Oh, hey, this is where it happened. This is where it happened. Okay. All right. As this is we keep the you place. All together now. Family, I gotta split you up. I'm sorry. Oh, you're better off two handing these guys and getting that big range because they don't have long range attacks. You're right. Hey, I recognize that as a loon. That sounds a bit like it, yeah. The loon, for those of you who don't know, because you probably don't live in this country, is the bird that is on our money. Thus the name, the loony. Super Canadian. Oh, fuck. Does your spear have longer range than your magic? It might. Ha 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 ha!
<laughs> I wanted the counter hit, and uh, yeah, that happened. Counter hits are after as well. It is after. It is after. As well. There is no need for such daring. There you go. Am I wearing that ring? Uh, yes, you are. I'm wearing the counter hit ring. You right? sure are. It's right there. Okay. You got the Leo set. You got the Leo ring. I don't like how these footsteps are not properly uh, being played in surround, so it feels like they're everywhere. They're everywhere. That's because they are, Wooly. Pitter patter, pitter patter. That was my, ever, that was my nickname for a while. You know the sound of like uh, like a wild animal or like a dog with its claws running on like wood floor. Yeah, which is like scampering around. Like I love that noise. That noise means good times ahead or bad. Is that a treasure chest down there. Yes, it is. It's like I recently uh, said to my girlfriend. I was walking outside and I saw the grocery store. We we're walking to the grocery store, and it was quite light. You know, it was one of those days last week that was like warmish. Yeah. Right. And I said, oh. It's almost, uh, dogs outside the grocery store season. <laughs> and she said, don't you mean spring? And I said, no. Dogs outside the grocery store season. Because the, the, the people, people will leave their dogs out there. That's what they do. And then you can pet them. Hey, sorry about that, Mom and Dad. I know you're not supposed to pet them, I guess, but I want to. Pet. I can't see the chain here. No, you can't. So, we'll just do it. We'll just have to make a decision. This and what do you got? Enchanted Ember. That's a good one. So that I can make magical things. Who That's correct. Who does that? Giant? Uh, no, Rickards. Down in New Lando. Rickards got take that, huh? Yeah, okay. okay. Get some resin. That's just a flower. Hey, you're the last one left. Like that, like that song. Mm-hmm. The last one standing. Wub, wub, wub. Those are flowers. Yes, they are flowers. Fuck you. Enjoy your shit. <sighs> Alright. Are you fucking lost? No, this is new. And... Uh, I'm still on the side across from the bridge. Mm-hmm. Uh, fatty. Be very aware of the fatty. I'm aware. Of alert. Spider senses are ready, if not tingling. Ready to tingle. Okay, let's see. Upstairs. Back across. Raise that bridge. sun. Forest ahead. Oh boy, zoning, huh? Hey. Is it not so that thou art new? Thou fared well to find me. Cool. But cometh thee not for the grave of Sir Artorius? My advice true. Forget this. The legend of Artorius art none but a fabrication. Traversing the dark. <laughs> Tis but a fairy tale. Have thine own respect. Go not yonder knocking for nothing, I say. This is the most confusing <laughs> question ever. It wasn't a question. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have this is this is the worst it ever is. Yeah, this is that, and so that, confusing. That feels deliberate. Have you come for the gra grave of Sir Artorius? It was the initial line of inquiry, and then go not knocking for nothing. I say was just the remark afterwards, and it really, really, really was phrased in an extremely confusing way. Am I joining a random covenant if I say yes? Okay. If you say no, she will never talk to you again. Ever. So here. Eh, okay, be careful. If you reply no to her first question, she will refuse to talk to you and making you unable to join her covenant. Okay. Um, answering her questions... Uh, also joining the covenant regardless of abandoning an existing covenant or not being in a covenant when doing it counts as a sin, reasons unknown. Walking away without answering the first question will not result in a sin. Answering yes to both questions and thus joining the covenant will result in a sin. 
Answering no to her first question results in a sin. Answering yes to the first question and no to the second question answers a sin. If you want to hang out with Alvina, you're gonna be sinning. You're gonna, you're you're fucked now. You're committing sin. Doesn't matter. It's, it's just a. Slight. Well, I, did, I didn't say anything. Yet. No, it doesn't matter. Even if you walk away. Now. Okay. Um, so if you want to hang out with Alvina and be cool, you want to say yes twice. I don't want to join her covenant. I just want to talk to her. Well, then say yes. Yeah. Right. Wow. Indeed. I killed two of your buddies though. They're back. They're right over there. Nevertheless, I feel some liking. No, her cat buddies. Oh. I'm Three of them. Of Don't the worry about that. Root wood. I what do you know about Artorias? Who tracked Tons of shit. The of the forest graves. Okay. What dost thou say? Wilt thou not join us? Oh, uh. yes. I believe we would suit thee well. Forest invaders? Is that what you become? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, give me a second. Thor. Wood. Sure. Bring. Because uh, you can only get that flipping ring if you join the covenant. That's the only way to get it. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, drop a join. Yes. I kind of need my ring slots right now. But, okay. But but do you just you join it and you get it for free? No. You have to earn it. It er, it creates itself in the world. And you have to go get it. Yes. Ah. And doing so will break the covenant. I want maybe I'm not really doing anything with covenants right now, mm -hmm. and uh, that whole Sunbro thing hasn't really mm -hmm. uh, been uh, popping up that much. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Okay, you can always change. You can always change covenants. You just need to uh, earn a little bit of souls to uh, uh, fix your sin with that covenant. Uh, otherwise, karma. Yeah, basically, people. when you leave a covenant, they're mad at you for yeah. a little bit, so you just pay off the partner with souls. Okay. And he's like, no, you're cool, man. But if they're mad at me, what will what, that result so you in? just don't, you can't go back to them. Until it, it, it's like they're mad that you broke up with them. Oh, uh, if you want to go back. But if you want to go to a new one, then Yeah, that's no, fine. Okay. So this will create the ring in the world. Yes. All right. Let's try that, then. Let's, let's, let's just get it and see, then. Very glad. The covenants seem like a really important thing, but, like... They're not actually utilized very well in any of the games. It hasn't been a huge deal. It was one of these. Uh, it was one of these things where um, in Dark Souls One, the covenants like they don't work very well. Straight up, the Dark Wraith one works pretty okay because you, you murder people, and that that that's the thing that works. And here, take us this ring. Uh, and in the uh, if thou wearest that ring, in the later games, you were like, oh, I hope they improve it. And they didn't really do all that much except for the bell. The bell covenant in Dark Souls Two worked really well. It's if it mind senses intruders. Okay. Okay. So defend the forest. So when you hang out uh, anywhere with that ring on, you'll just get summoned to the forest whenever people come in. Right. That's what happened to that guy. He got automatically summoned to murder you because I walked in. Yeah. It's like a much larger version of the bell tower. Bell tower. Exactly. I like the bell tower a lot. It's probably my favorite part of the whole game. Oh, because you create a fun little two v two. But oh, what's the golden rule? Oh, sure. Yeah, uh, the thing with Covenants feels like it's just P um, um, it's just PvPing for different purposes, you know? Have no doubt. They're supposed to do all sorts of weird stuff. Are they, like, like, but the Gravelord one doesn't really work. How many, like, that weird noise coming out of her? It's a cat going yum, yum, yeah. yum, yum. Yeah. Uh, how many um, Covenants are single player related? <sighs> Very few. The Way of White uh, can be single player because it shows some more messages in your world. What a weird, like, Cheshire cat type yeah. thing. Yeah. All right, so the, the ring has spawned and it's very nearby. Okay. Um, now, you remind me of the rat covenant guy. Sure do. Just sitting in your window. Also, I love their, the cat design and how it's a cat. It's a big bear cat. Yeah. And the only thing that's weird about it is their mouth, the mouth. goes way too far yeah. back. And that's it. Yeah. What, do I, what kind of items do I give her? Uh, doesn't seem like I even I, have I fucking because the menu that. to do that is not even popping up. Yeah. You know. So anyway, let me let me check that ring out. Um, Cat covenant ring. And see what it says at the very. Looks like least. a pretty kitty. Oh. Okay. Uh. Yep. That's where Alvina's summoning. White cat Alvina speaks a human tongue and has lived since the early age of fire. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Trusted friend of Artorius and the Great Wolf Sith. Oh, you're a buddy. So Alvina's 
holding it down here and telling people, fucking don't go to the grave, shut up, don't go to the grave. Everyone hang out, keep people out of the grave. In fact, I'm gonna have a whole clubhouse dedicated to keeping people out of the grave. Okay. So I see some dudes here. Yep, who are now your friends. They're not my friends. They're your friends now. Except, let me guess. No, they're your friends. Oh, I can't lock on. You're my friend. Okay. Yeah. If I attack him, will you still be my friend? Uh, no. That's Shiva of the East. He's wearing the armor you found. I hey, buddy. All about you. I'm Shiva of the East, captain of the brigade. Ah. Must teach you the clan basics now, as there's no time to chat in the midst of fighting. Except there is little in the form of rules. You hear? You're straight up Japanese. Yeah. And hunt as you like. Cool. Okay. Whoever's fastest gets to pray. That's cool. the way we do it. Only, don't forget what Arvina said. Traitors aren't given a second chance for any reason. That's about it then. Eh. Don't worry. It's a good old time, isn't it? It's a good giant Nodachi type thing? Us. Yeah. Good hunting to you. I think it's the Murakumo. So, uh... Man, this is a bunch of not hollow, like, Dude. humans yep. hanging out. Oh, I think if you talk to him again, uh, he has uh, more dialogue and possibly a shop. Well, you got nothing to say. No, they're, they're just NPCs that don't attack me anymore. But... Don't worry now. Yeah, it's... You'll be called in soon enough. Hunters with patience. Oh, you only get the shop the from him kids. once you get to rank two. That's what it is. Which means you gotta... Yeah, uh, you gotta murder some dudes with a cat coming. So behind him is the ring. Uh, behind him. That's right. <laughs> You're a ninja. You're literally a ninja. Yep. That's the ring, eh? He's wearing the ring. That's the ring? That's the ring. That's the ring. That's the ring. And that's the only way to get it. <laughs> <laughs> so, you get, you, that is now open to you as you please. Mm -hmm. right? What's that over there? It's your souls. Yeah, that is my souls. All right. And uh, with that, oh, oh God, we looped around. Now with that, because we're not going to be fighting Sif until post DLC, you've completed the Dark Root Basin, with one item exception, really. Joining that covenant turned all these guys into friends. That's right. I made the zone finish. Yep. There's only one uh, item for you to go get, and it's on the other side of that bridge. I, I, like, I was looking at the color of an item that should be my souls, and I was like, that can't be my souls. I thought those are on the other side. But you were on the other side. Okay, mental map is closed. Now that leaves, uh... The other side of that forest. The de yeah, the, and the, the downstairs part area. <laughs> maybe I can... Maybe I can be sneaky-deaky about it. In some way, you know? Maybe. Maybe oh. I can, like... Because they're, they're all gonna come running. The, uh, the old-fashioned way was uh, he would not aggro if you kicked him. So you just kick him forever? You just kick him right off that edge. Oh, yeah? I don't think that works anymore. He's, he's gonna aggro now? I, I believe that is the case. Okay. Let me have a thinky-dink. Yeah, have a thinky-dink while you, while you... Well, you cliff tug it. Vidi well, my friends. Vidi well. Oh, look at that big old dope door. That's a big old cool door. And it's glowing now. Very. It's always been glowing. Oh. Always, always. Even last time? Yes, yeah, sir. Big glow. Can't open it. Nope, still can't. So, on the other side of that is the bonfire. This is the door. This is the this door. This is not a second so door. So you can see how much of a massive shortcut flying that shit. crest is. Yeah, that's a huge shortcut. Yeah. But you don't even need it. You don't. Wow. Okay. Usually, uh, what that's for is, say you want to get the Dark Wraith Covenant, like, immediately, right? You get the master key, you come down here, you buy that door, you open it, you go kill Sif, you get the ring, you go fight the Dark Wraiths first. You go fight the Four Kings first, like the first thing you do in the game. Then you get the Dark Rift Covenant, then you can summon pe then you can invade people at like soul level 10. If you can beat the Four Kings. I don't suppose, uh... Yeah, the forest creatures are not buddies too. No, they're, they're, for just they're forest creatures. They're just forest creatures. Alright. Well, cheers for the anti-poison. Hey, fuck you. That noise is used in a lot of other places. It sure is. The forest seems to be the public domain forest. 
<laughs> My favorite location in any Dark Souls game. And then that's the end of that area. One of the things I really like about the forest is that its placement and its lighting level make no sense. It's like nighttime here. Well, it's it's. I think it's just like the it's the lighting you would get when there's a bunch of trees overhead. You yeah, know? but you're in an open field right now. You're not wrong. I just think the, it, the flow of time is convoluted in Lordran, and the lighting is convoluted. Don't ask about it. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs>